support learning, volunteerism, stewardship, recreation, and camaraderie is what sets the Urban Ecology Center apart and makes it a great way to become involved in our community. The purpose of the Urban Ecology Center is to really foster ecological understanding in a neighborhood basis. Um, we also serve as a community center and kind of a hub of connection between neighborhoods and natural spaces. Of course I'm biased, but I think the Urban Ecology Center is a wonderful resource because we have several locations around the city, and who knows, someday we may have more locations around the city. Um, and it's a great resource for people to have a way to give back to their community, for people to connect to one another from different areas. Um, and then we have all, besides just the habitat work, we also have uh, research work, we have resources of pe people being able to borrow equipment and go out and actually do things out in nature, which is what we really, really want to encourage people to do, is to get out into nature and be active in whichever way they feel fits them. The Urban Ecology Center is a great resource um, we, because we have such, I feel like, a, a passionate uh, community, but also staff. We, we really care about uh, the environment and sustainability and really making this a, a cool place that's going to be around for, for many years, not just for us, but for our kids and our, our grandchildren too. Getting the youth involved now is going to begin a relationship between nature and the next generation. There must be a strong bond in order for the environment to thrive. So this summer we're going to be working in our community garden here in the valley and we'll be planting seeds there and learning how to care for a garden. And also the Menominee River flows right near us and so we'll be taking out the kayaks. Developing new relationships and friendships with others that have the same interests as yourself can positively impact your life as well as the community. Volunteering and getting more involved in the community gives value to someone else. By sharing your skills and talents, you are helping others and improving the environment. Getting children and teenagers involved in the community can boost confidence and self-esteem and provide the opportunity to build new skills. The Ecology Center um, positively impacts the community by engaging a variety of individuals um, at different ages, uh, interest levels, etc. There's been some really compelling research that shows that um, two of the main things that will help children develop a value set for any given issue um, is consistent exposure to that, so consistent exposure to a natural space, uh, but then also having consistent positive mentors show them how to interact with that. Encouraging your child to get involved can be made easy by making it a family event and going together until you all find what interests you most. <laughs> For young adults, volunteering in the community is really important because it will help develop leadership skills like working with others and understanding and respecting diversity among people and the environment. It engages people on so many different levels. Um, obviously, our main mission is to get people outside and get back, um, get their heart back into nature and, and be inspired by nature and enjoy nature. Um, but there's just so many ways that people are able to do that, whether it be through volunteering or the various interest groups. Um, today, the volunteers are working on cutting down the, the perennials, the native grasses and wildflowers in our um, gardens around the building and in the planted bioswales on the edges of our parking lot. Um, it's just giving the, the plants a chance to um, have space for their new shoots and leaves to grow. Many people come together to accomplish goals to improve the biodiversity of the earth so that it's available for everyone to enjoy. 
In terms of the number of volunteers, I would say it's somewhere in the hundreds. I don't officially know how many, um, but we've had you know everyone from youth, probably age five, to um, some of our volunteers are in their 60s and 70s, some great retired folks that are with us on a consistent basis. Um, and they've helped do a lot of the planting and a lot of the invasive species removal in Three Bridges Park. Uh, we've also have a group that's really dedicated in just helping us maintain a positive presence in that park. Participants that come and volunteer for many of our different programs and things, but I think it's a great way for people to really feel connected to the neighborhood around them and the green spaces around them. And people can directly see that when we plant uh, really nice deeply rooted plants along the river, they can see that it's increasing water quality and they can see that there are more and more insects and butterflies and birds each year. So it's a good way for them to really see what the impact is of that hands-on work that they're doing, which is, I think, makes people feel, well, it makes me feel good, but <laughs> I think it makes people feel really good about the activities they're having in their community. Any time that we go out and we work with volunteers, we talk to volunteers about the impacts of invasive species, the impacts of habitat diversity. So while we do, we always talk to folks a little bit before we go out so that they know what we're doing. Biological diversity, also known as biodiversity, refers to the variety of plants, animals, and microorganisms that exist and the ecosystems they live in. We increase biodiversity because the parks that we work in are very urban parks, so a lot of the species that are existing are uh, very tolerant but also very um, low quality species. We take uh, plant species, everything from collecting the seed to cleaning it to uh, germinating and growing and then transplanting the seeds in order to make our system more, um, more fluid, more sustainable, then we want to add in more genetic diversity within the species we already have. We also want to add in other types of species and numbers of species. I think having the volunteer drop-in type events as well as um, one-time events like we have Earth Day cleanups and things like that. I think having those types of events gives people opportunities to come and give an impact and feel like they're making a difference. There are many animals in our ecosystem that you may never have the opportunity to get a closer look at. By getting out in the community and utilizing your resources, you can experience wild animals like you never have before. So we use our animals here at the center as a gateway to the natural world. The species that we have are representatives of species that you would find here in Wisconsin in this area. The kids are really excited about our bull snake, Sarah. She is almost seven feet long, and every Saturday we feed her mice, and so that is really, really uh, exciting for the kids. We also have lots of turtles. We have a painted turtle named Boomer, uh, and a very young snapping turtle named Henry, and he currently has a really big tank, and he's going to grow into that one, so we're excited to see his progress. Watching is just one of the many activities that are offered in the community for all ages to enjoy. People can learn the birds. They can learn uh, not only what a bird looks like, but what it sounds like. Uh, right now we're in, in spring migration, so we're seeing a lot of birds that haven't been here the whole winter. A larger, kind of bigger picture thing that people can learn is the, the connection of birds with habitat 
and how important restoring habitat and, and kind of conserving it and um, the changes that we make to the habitat, what that has not only on birds but all of the wildlife around it. Everyone gets a closer look at the birds and share with each other when they spot a new find. For a lot of birders, they, they care a lot about the birds and the environment, but to them it's also, um, it's a social aspect, the social aspect of it that they enjoy and connecting with the community. And um, when they get interested in the birds and the park that they're here for, it connects them in large with the community and helps them care more about what's happening. After bird watching, everyone gathers to discuss what they saw and it is logged. Getting kids involved is, is really important. If you don't have the children becoming involved, the interest is going to die off. So you have to, you have to create that, that interest and, and feed a whole new uh, generation. Um, you know, our birders may be aging, and if we don't have those young birders there, maybe we're not going to have those skills to pass on to, to new groups. So of, of course it's important to connect younger children too. here and summer is fast approaching. If you've been looking for a new outlet, try getting out into your community and experiencing what others in the environment have to offer. You know, we're constantly trying to get more involved with the other community centers and community groups in this, this area, in the Silver City and um, the Layton Boulevard neighborhood. Um, we're always reaching out to schools and schools are always reaching back out to us and I feel like um, one of the largest um, things that will be happening in the next five years is the continual development of Three Bridges Park alongside of our education programs benefiting from the resource out there. Uh, we, like to, we like to call the, uh, the park our, our outdoor classroom um, and so as that park gets developed more and more it just opens the possibilities for education. Last summer the Three Bridges Park was completed and is the largest new park developed in Milwaukee in decades. Let's take a look at some footage captured last year of one of the greatest improvements thus far for our community. The Three Bridges Park provides miles of accessible biking and walking trails, as well as river access for fishing and canoeing. I've seen a lot of people just get very excited about this resource in their community. Um, you know, there's not been a park in this area of the neighborhood ever before, and so it's a very new thing that people are getting used to, and they're getting really excited to ride their bikes along the Hank Aaron Trail, go fishing in the park, bring their kids here on the weekends, um, and so it's, it's a new resource that people are just now starting to figure out how to utilize, and it's very exciting. The Three Bridges provide access to residents and workers to visit the new park and get to jobs in the valley. Get out and take advantage of the great opportunities that await you. Three Bridges Park! This is our community. This is our community. This is our community. And this is our community. This is our community. Fly away for the summer. Hey. Take a trip for the summer, hey, 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 hey. Fly away for the summer, hey, hey, hey. Take a trip for the summer, hey, hey, hey. Oh, come back again, back again. I love all my friends, all my 
friend. We'll come back again.